Hello and welcome. This is the first video in the Shopify app development series. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use in this video series, the technologies and the things you have to know before starting the course. So this is very important. If you already do not know this stuff, make sure you check them out, find some videos, practice them, and then you can continue this course. So I know most of you guys know about Laravel, and the basic of it so that is fine but if you don't know these resources that i'm going to tell you in this video it will be a little hard for you of course i will explain them step by step but i assume you know them already so let's start first of course i'm going to use laravel at the time of this recording it is laravel 7.x so it should work for any major release for laravel 8 also but if you have any other like requirement or question, you can always find out the solution online. Also, I'm going to use Laravel Valley. So Valley is a tool by Laravel. It will let you create a domain based on the folder. For example, you can create a Laravel uh, app in a folder and then you can open it in the browser with a test extension. It will open this as a website. One of the other cool features it has, it will let you add a free SSL to your folder. That is very handful. Like if you don't have an HTTPS, then your Laravel app will not work properly. So that is one of the cool features. It is Mac only, as they say, but I have seen some GitHub repo. They have done it for Windows also. The only difficult part is the HTTPS. If you can manage it, cool. If not, there are always another way of doing it because I have been using Windows for a long time. So next up. I assume you know the basic of Laravel. If you don't know, you can find some courses online. Laracast.com has the best courses. You can watch them. There are many YouTube channels. I'm not going to mention their name, but you can do your research and watch some of the courses there. Also, I do have those courses on the channel. So there is a Laravel 5.6 for beginner, which is very helpful if you don't know Laravel. Also, if you don't know about web design, or I have a complete web design course also let's learn web design which is 55 videos and lastly i assume you know the basic of shopify it is not required of course i will explain everything but it is good to know how the shopify uh, website is going to work how you can add a product what details a product have or how themes are going to work that way it will be easy for you to integrate your app with the theme which is already installed so you can watch maybe 10 video out of this playlist with a Shopify for developer or any other course feel free to do watch it on anywhere on YouTube uh, as long as you know about Shopify that's cool next up I am going to use Tailwind CSS of course I'm not using bootstrap it is a new framework it is nice it is really easy to use so it will be easy for us also you will learn a new CSS framework so I will use Tailwind and of course Vue.js also. Now what I am going to build in this course, what is that? I will explain it now. I am going to build you a wishlist app for Shopify. Any Shopify store require a wishlist. You go to a store, you want to wishlist something, so later you will come and buy it. Maybe you are in hurry, maybe you want to send it to someone else, right? So those are the things that every Shopify store needs. If I come to the Shopify app store and search for the wishlist, there are many of them and each of them have their own customer each of them have their own name one of the things that you should remember about your shopify app is make sure you name them properly you can't have two wishlist hero in shopify store of course they are going to take that down but there are many of them here each of them this one is two dollar per month we have used them for many clients it is nice but it does not have all the features you need so you can build the complete form of that this one is Shopify Wishlist Plus. I will just show you the example of what it looks like and what it is going to do. If I open one of these screenshots, you see this heart icon? You click on this one, it will store that one for the cookie of the user if they are not logged in. If they are logged in, they will store that in a database. That is very simple. Think about it. They are going to charge you like $15 per month. If you go with this one, only 1000 per month, like you can add to the wish list a thousand item per month if you want to go bigger you can pay more to them and of course it is not as simple as you think they have a lot more features like integration with third-party softwares like they have rest api they have F facebook pixel you can do all of them it was all easy but the thing is all you have to do is support your app this is the next one it is a lot like you can charge people and they have a lot of customer also like think about it 
now i'm not going to showcase any other one so these are all nice apps but this is what i'm going to build you from scratch using laravel tailwind css and of course vue.js so that is what we are going to do to learn in this video the reason for uh, this that i'm going to build a wish list is because a wish list will require you to have integration in the front end as well as the back end of your app there are some apps that work only on the back end of any store it doesn't touch the front end so you will never know how you can modify a team how you can add code to a team or update any file in a team so the reason i use wishlist is because i can teach you how to build everything and how to uh, let's say modify the team how to add new files how to change a style add a style and stuff like that so those are the things that you will learn in this video series so i hope it is going to be something informative and you learn something i'm telling you if you watch the series like you do not take action it nothing will happen just make sure you take action i will upload two videos per day and the reason for that is because you have to you don't have to rush like watch all the video and then boom nothing happened you have to watch the video and then practice 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 until you make your best app so that's it for this video and the next video i will start installing our first shopify app and we are going to install it in one of the stores we have thank you for watching i will see you in the next video